morning after our wedding and I quickly wanted to go over a few things that we did that were zero waste. So all of the blue vases that we used were from um, Danielle's daughter's first birthday and she painted them for us so they were all second hand. The flowers of course we bought but they're zero waste because I will compost all of them I won't even put them in the garbage. I think we're gonna press some into books and keep them forever too. All of the dishes were um, Chad's Baba's so we didn't use any disposable dishes in that sense which was beautiful they were a beautiful set. We also didn't use any disposable decorations. We only used flowers and the napkins were cloth. We didn't use any paper towel. We didn't have to rent any furniture which was also amazing because this house had everything that we needed. So, oh, do I have makeup all over my face? We're just cleaning up now, tidying up the Airbnb, putting it back to how it was before. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. And I will get back to you when we're home and give you a complete list of our budget and how we stayed zero waste, or as I like to call it, low waste. We're home. Actually, it wasn't that simple. We took a little while to get home because of the BC floods. I will link that video right here. If you don't know about our journey traveling home, it took a lot longer than we thought. We got a little stranded in Kelowna, the Okanagan, before we made it all the way home. So, let me just get back to the point of this video, which is the budget for our wedding. Now, I don't know if you, if you didn't watch my wedding announcement video where I told everybody that we're getting married in, I think it was like one month or something like that at that time, and our budget was $2,000, which may seem crazy to a lot of people, which brings me to the point of why I'm making this video. I wanted to do this video particularly because I hope to inspire you if you are engaged right now and you're wanting to get married but maybe because of the way the world is right now your dream wedding just isn't possible or maybe because you don't have the dream budget that you would want to have the dream wedding that you would want I just want to remind you a wedding is to get married right and the wedding industry is such a consumeristic like industry now there is so much money in the wedding industry and so much waste goes into the wedding industry or comes out of the wedding industry I guess you could say as well and that is why I aimed to have as much of a zero waste low waste wedding as possible because I didn't want to contribute to that obviously and I hope to if anything maybe inspire you to just get married you're in love right nothing else matters anyways I hope that you just have a cute maybe intimate wedding like we did so that you can just tie the knot with your true love your soulmate whoever that person may be find happiness in a marriage instead of in a wedding if that makes sense to each their own if you have to have that beautiful big ball and wedding then you, that's important to you so you have to do that I also will mention one day Chad and I are going to have a party where all of our friends and family will hopefully come because that's really hard not to have all of your friends and family with you on that special day. So we had a strict rule of parents and siblings only. I wanted so bad to have my best friends and I wanted so bad to have like other family members there as well, of course, right? But if you start letting one person come and then somebody else come, then it's really not fair and you don't want to be unfair. So strict rule, parents, siblings only. Regardless, we did really good with our budget. We came in under $2,000. I just came up with this number too, $2,000 like seemed achievable, so that's why I said $2,000, and I'm really proud of us for staying under it. Now let me 
go over what cost us money to get married. I'm gonna put a little list right here so you can see what I'm talking about. First, let's go over all of, well, mine, Chad, and Floyd's outfits. Chad already had his outfit. Um, his actually, his shirt was the theme of our wedding. It's a super cool vintage shirt that he had for a really long time. And so we knew he was gonna wear that. And that's why we decided the theme of our color would be that navy blue color. And then he also had like little light blue and like the collar and stuff too. So the moms or ladies were dark blue and boys dads were light blue-ish. My dress. If you haven't watched our wedding day vlog, I highly recommend going back and watching that one because you find out about that whole dress fiasco. Medusa, you sit. Sit. Good girl. Anyways, I spent $100 on a dress ordered it online it did not come in time so my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and uh, mother-in-law like our whole family spent the day finding a dress on the uh, Facebook marketplace I think it was or Kijiji and um, so I got a dress luckily anyways and it was gifted to me so I so totally I'm beyond thankful for that but I'm gonna include the price of my dress because I still paid for it and it's pretty much equal to I think what they paid for the dress that they got too so the dress was a hundred dollars and Floyd's outfit was $15. I went to a children's secondhand store and got him a onesie and a pair of nice overalls, which he looked super cute in. So that's $115 in attire. Oh, huh. and because of this channel, if you're new here, I will tell you everything. I'm a very honest person. I bought the shoes that I was wearing. That's Floyd. He says hi. I bought the shoes that I was wearing. They're like sneakers. They're white sneakers from a store. I won't mention the store because I'm going to return them. Because I'm never going to wear white shoes like that again. And I wore them inside so uh, for a few hours. Yeah, it's cheap. But let's be real. That's what I'm doing. So it's zero dollars on shoes. But... I think the shoes were outrageous. I would never spend that kind of money. So they were $40 for a white pair of sneakers. I would never spend that kind of money, which is why I'm returning them. I'm not spending $40 on a white pair of shoes I'll never wear. If I could have borrowed a pair of shoes or... Yeah. I also did all of the hair and makeup myself. Obviously, that didn't cost me anything. I didn't even buy new makeup. I cut my own bangs even. Oh, dear. Follow me on my Instagram because I made a little video about that, but... Yeah, so that cost me nothing. So then let's go on to the travel. It cost us $70 for our ferry ticket one way, and it cost $100 for a ferry ticket on the way back because of the time of day. You wanna come too? He say hi. So $170 in ferry, which is crazy, but that's what it cost. And then I think it was about $250 in gas on the way there we obviously it cost us a lot more to get home because of the situation with the getting stuck and whatnot so let's say it was normal it would have been five hundred dollars in gas six hundred and seventy dollars with gas and ferry food i heard was uh, around a hundred and twenty dollars to feed everybody thank you <laughs> Thank you to um, Evan, my father-in-law, who did all the cooking for everybody and also gifted the food to us. But I'm still going to keep it in the budget in case, just so that it, you can see how much the whole wedding costs, even though some things were gifted to us and we didn't personally pay for them, that's what it cost to get married. And then after that would be our accommodation slash venue, which <laughs> was so great to get married in an Airbnb and stay in the Airbnb, the whole family. So it was $1,200 for the accommodation split four ways, which was $300 each couple. And then um, that was also gifted to us from my parents. So thank you very much to our family who made this day so possible. We are so, so, so grateful and thankful. 
It's genius, people. Genius. As for decor, um, we bought flowers, which was around another $200, again, I believe. And the only other decor that we had was the tapestry that I brought for picture taking, which didn't cost anything. We used um, cloth napkins, and so we didn't have anything disposable. And then luckily Chad's Baba, we got to use her china for dinner. We brought everything that we needed so we didn't go through waste like that. The biggest waste in the whole wedding was definitely food. Not food waste, but packaging. Food packaging, which is why I never call it zero waste because you can't buy all the food that you would need without packaging. It's actually like next to impossible. Unfortunately, that's just how that goes. So, for under $2,000, I absolutely think it's possible for you to get married, and I think that you should just do it. Stop thinking about when you're gonna get married and just do it, guys. Oh, and our wedding bands. Chad's wedding band was a family heirloom. He just had to get it sized, which ended up costing $200, so we'll throw that into the budget too. My wedding band, um, my mother gave me a ring set that she had, and I literally traded it straight across for my wedding band, so mine cost me none. So for both of our wedding bands, it was $200. So still, for under $2,000, you can get married and have a beautiful day. So that was our wedding day. We did it. We're so happy that we were able to spend that time with our family. It was so, so much fun to stay in that house together. I hope that this video has inspired you in some way to possibly just tie that knot. Don't waste any more time waiting, okay? As always, I hope that you have a great rest of your day, we will have a great rest of our day, and we will see you in the next video. I'm doing a four month update on Floyd, so that's gonna be really fun. He's so big, he has grown so, so much. So I'm really looking forward to sharing where he's at with you guys in the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, Peace.